Warning! The following program will make your eyes leave your face in disgust. Okay, everyone. I've noticed you've all been very down lately. Not one of you has cracked a smile in the last month. That's because I can't smile. There's only one way to boost morale in a situation like this. I'm going to hand out badges to recognise your talents. Oh, yeah! I'm easily swayed by token gestures. Woohoo! OK, the badge for best worker goes to... Lolly! Oh, oh, well done. Very well deserved. The badge for the best hair goes to... Come on, Herman. Come on, Herman. Lolly as well. Oh, and I'll just have me perm top top. <laughs> The badge for best person named Wilf goes to... Lolly! What? Oh, I've never liked her. And the award for best victim of a falling comedy prop goes to... Yes, 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 we know, it's Lolly. It's always Lolly. Lolly, 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 Lorraine! Actually, it was you, Hacker. Yo! 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 Oh, my spinal column. Woohoo! Run the titles. You gotta watch this. You gotta watch this. You gotta watch this. My, 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 my program hits you so hard. Makes me say, oh, my word. Thank you for watching me. It's telly. Well, you know, it feels good. There's outtakes too. Come and get some clips. It's true. So sit back. Don't move too much. This is the show. But you can't touch. Stop. Hacker time. Thank you. Stand by then, everyone. We're on air in five. Four. Three. Two. One. But I don't even work here. Cue Hacker. You all right, cockers? Welcome to Hacker Time. Hurrah. Today's show is all about Blue Peter. Oh, you cold? No, no, I said Blue Peter, not you turquoise, John. Oh, my mistake. Yes. And you can take Aquamarine too with you and all. We're leaving! Anyway, my guests should be arriving just about now. <laughs> not that they know it yet. <laughs> Excuse me. Hi, sorry to disturb Hi. you. It's Radzi and Lindsay. We're here for Blue Peter. Excuse me, is it uh, Rodney and Linda? No, no. <laughs> Radzi Rad and Lindsay. That's right, mate. Get in the lift, then. Oh, no, no we're no, here. No, 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 it's this way. Get in the lift. Come on. Get in the lift. Come on. In the gate. We're here for Blue Peter. What is it? The door's closed. Turn. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Radzi and Rodney and Linda, welcome to Hacker Time! Uh, it's actually Radzi and Lindsay. And I hate to rain on your parade. We're supposed to be filming Blue Peter today. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, cockers. You'll have to stay now because the, um, lift's broke. Is it? I don't think it is. In fact, it's not. No, in fact, it's definitely not broken. It is now. In that case, let's get on with it. <laughs> Derek, the fact file, if you will. Coming up, me little owl. <laughs> Radzi and Lindsay are off some programme called Blue Peter. <laughs> Never heard of it. Lindsay got the job when she was voted in by the public after a series of gruelling challenges. A few months later, Radzi breezed in after beating a pot plant in a hairstyle competition. <laughs> when they're not in the studio, they spend their free time dressing as street mime artists. And that's nothing you need to know about Radzi and Lindsay. <laughs> I think we all learned a lot from that. Don't you agree, Radzi and Lindsay? <gasps> Radzi and Lindsay! Hey! What are you doing over there? Uh, well, they're helping me sort through the Hacker Time fan nail, Mr Hacker. Oh! Let me have a look. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Is there anything for me in that massive sack? Well, actually, look at all that. Yeah. It's really impressive. Sorry, though, Hacker, they're actually all for Herman. <laughs> what? No, 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 no. There is one uh, for you, Hacker. Oh, let go. me read it then. <laughs> Dear Hacker, I wanted to tell you that I am a massive fan <gasps> of Herman. Love from Hacker's mum. Right, that does it. Herman, mm -hmm. I've got some more letters for you, actually. Oh, yeah? Yeah. G O A W A Y. Spells go away. Yeah. Go away, Herman! 
Go on then, get out. Oh, that's not very nice. Not at all. That man is an assault on all the senses. Let's get on with the show. Lazar, the menu. Oh, today's hacker time will make you laugh till your head sweats. Coming up, hacker makes Redzi angry. <laughs> it's up, up and away in the aeroport. Is that your life vest deflating? No. <laughs> and there's a case of mistaken identity. Hey, what are you doing? I'm hacking, not you. All this and more <laughs> on Hacker Time. What a treat for all concerned. But first, it's time to conduct my little interview. Are you ready, my clean-cut humanoid presenting chums? Born yes. ready. Born yes. ready, Hacker. Belt him. Lindsay. Lindsay yes. Russell. Mm -hmm. No, no, Lindsay. Lindsay, rustle these papers on my desk. Go on. <laughs> I haven't got all day. Give him a quick rustle, cocker. <laughs> Thank that you. I can't awful. stand silent stationary. <laughs> Radzi. Yes. Radzi Chim. <laughs> Radzi Chim. Radzi Chim Chimini Chim Chim Chimini. Chim <laughs> Chim <laughs> Radzi, how do you pronounce your surname? Dodge. <laughs> he made it funny. It's not like you, cocker. <laughs> Now, Radzi, yes. you present three shows on CBBC, don't you, Cocker? Blue Peter, Wild, and Match of the Day Kickabout. Is that right? That's right. Well, wouldn't it be better to concentrate on one and do it well? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can have that. It's true. Cheers, Cockers. <laughs> I've seen them. And the muck. <laughs> right, while you're both here, I've got a confession to make. <laughs> I'm afraid I've been doing my business in the Blue Peter Garden. That's right. I'd like to buy 16 shares to increase my gross profit by 25%. Good day to you, sir. <laughs> now to do a massive plop. I think I might have plopped onto the time capsule. Oh, no, stop it. Yes, <laughs> madam, no. Now, I hope you're not too angry with me, Radzi, because I know what you can get like. Really? OK. Come on. Okay. One, two, three. Good man, good man. Brilliant. OK, now, let's keep moving. Oh. Keep moving now, OK, you're gonna, you're gonna push up. OK, good. OK, oh. now, very quickly, just duck down, get your shoulders in the water and come back up. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been so cold in all of my life. All green. All green, exactly. <sighs> Didn't Radzi have a fine figure in that clip? And such a lovely natural skin tone. Just like me. <laughs> no, Lindsay. You were the first Blue Peter presenter to be picked by a public vote. Oh, what right. was it like, Cocker? Oh, it was a real compliment and the best day of my life. Oh, but do you remember when I nearly ruined everything for you during You Decide? No. Well, let's have a look. Hidden in these three boxes in front of you... Yeah. ...are the type of food penguins would eat. What? <laughs> Shh! Donkey hands! Oh! What can you think? <laughs> Um, that's a shrimp. Oh, she's gonna think I'm a fish. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness, that's a fish. Hey, what kind yeah. of fish? It's a massive fish. Oh, right. Okay, next. Okay. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What's hey? Do you mind? It's got it. tentacles. I don't like it. And I don't like you with your hands all over me. Get off. I think that is a squid. A squid? How dare you? I hope you don't get the job. Oh. oh. Very smelly. Yeah, I'd agree with that bit. I don't remember it being quite like that, Hacker. I <laughs> know. I filmed that and mocked it up. That's what I do. Now, you're a pair of hip young things, isn't you? What's it like presenting with your granddad, Barney? <laughs> <laughs> he's not that old, is he? No, he's not that much old. But do you know what? That guy, he's been in the game a long time. We learn a lot from him. On Blue Peter, you're obsessed with keeping stinking animals as pets, aren't you? What's been your favourite pet over years? I think Barney the dog. Yeah. Because we got to meet him, didn't we? We did. <laughs> Little Barney. I thought you were going to say oh, I would then. <laughs> it's our favorite He's my favourite pet. pet. <laughs> hey, we've got a hacker time pet, you know. Oh, yeah. Enid the guinea pig. Oh, that's yes. nice. She's been hibernating in this box for eight years, you know. Oh, eight. no, hacker, you, you can't hibernate for eight years. That's not how it really works. Oh, well, uh, you'd um, better take a look inside the box then. Oh, no. Have a little oh, look. Oh, wow. Um, eight years? Yeah, approximately eight years, yeah. Look right at her. I don't believe it! Oh, she's... Oh, she's escaped! Larry, get us out of this! 
have your passports at the ready because it's time to take a mini break with Best Regional Airways. You're going to love this one because it's Valentine's Day at the aeroport. Places to go, deadlines to keep, and passengers shouting a lot. It's all just another day in the life of the aeroport. It's Valentine's Day, and love is very much in the air. As we're very much in the air, Mrs. Love, what would you like for your in-flight meal? On board today's best regional airways flight to Paris is pilot Captain Alan Barbara. Welcome on board today's flight to Paris. I'm your pilot, Captain Alan Barbara. I just wanted to tell you that... Devastated. I need a new girlfriend. He's devastated? He needs a new girlfriend? He must be mine. Well, you'll have to fight me for him. <laughs> Stop I just told everyone that today's in-flight movie is Devastated, I Need a New Girlfriend. Wish my girlfriend was here. She loves a good rom-com. As such a busy airport, Wigan International sees hundreds of emotional scenes each day. Oh, I wish you didn't have to go. You'll go so much quicker than you think, darling. And that... Well, you're right. Of course! And, and you won't talk to other women, will you? No chance. I'll be thinking of you the whole time. All right, well, you better leave before I change my mind about you going. Uh, Farewell, my love. Uh, oh, my. <sighs> oh, it's so hard. <laughs> oh, John. You didn't write. What? Oh. Meanwhile, on the Paris flight, the captain has just called his stewardesses to the cabin to discuss his relationship status. I'm sure asking two single members of the cabin crew in here on a matter relating to my relationship status won't cause any confusion. Pick me! No, me! 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 Pick me! Me! Ladies, there's no need for that. Now, I asked you in here because I have something for both of you. Oh. I want you to take these. Uh. And you to take these. Oh. I bought them for my beautiful girlfriend. I know I can trust you to keep them safe and not get confused into thinking that I bought them for you. Well, I'm sure that was all perfectly clear. He loves me! Oh, he loves me! Oh, he loves me! Oh. Yes, very clear. One hour into the flight, Denise tries a new way to impress Captain Barbara by playing her life jacket. Check this out, Captain Babs. <laughs> well, this is embarrassing. Oh, I suppose there's only one thing left to say. Denise? Yes? Your whistle playing blew me away. When we reach Paris, would you be free to meet with me? <gasps> of course. Excellent. I'm marrying my girlfriend tomorrow, and I'd very much like you to play at our wedding. Say what? <laughs> Is that your life vest deflating? Nope. <laughs> Next time, Mr and Mrs Breadbin face another painful goodbye as Wilf leaves to go to the vending machine. Just make sure you're right this time. And even with a broken heart, Denise finally turns up to play at Captain Barbara's wedding. Just another day in the life of the aeroport. Oh, that was so awful. I resent having a memory. Oh, we're on. Um, Radzi and Lindsay, let me ask you. Are you two enjoying the show so far? I Do actually we? am. Yeah, we are. It's good fun. We love Hacker Time. Oh, good. <laughs> Although I wouldn't let you leave if you weren't cocker. Anyway, now it's time for me to have a little break. So here's Wilf and Herman with the Opinion Parlour. Don't look at me when I'm on my break! You. Hello, lads and lassies. Welcome to the Opinion Parlour with me, Wilf. And me, Wilf. 
Sorry, I mean Herman. <laughs> yes, in honour of Blue Peter, we've been asking you to make replica hackers out of regular household items. And from Eccles sent in this hacker made out of an old kitchen roll. This next one's been sent in by Keith from Equatorial Guinea. It's made from a toilet brush, some hair found in the drain, and a pair of recycled currants for eyes. Get it off my screen! If you'd like to get in touch, email us at the Opinion Parlour at opinionparlour at parlour.parlour.opinion.opinionparlour.parlour.cotton.dot.dot.dot.dash.com. Dot 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 dash dot com. And uh, back to you, hacker. Dash. Thank you, Wilfred Herman. Coming up next. Hey, what are you doing? I'm hacking, not you. Get away, you stinking wretch. Although all this chat reminds me of the time I made something in the style of Blue Peter. <sighs> Did you want to hear about it, Cocker? Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> like you had a choice. Music, if you will. Life gets so lonely when you walk this road alone. I needed someone that I could call my own. And then I thought I'll make a girlfriend And I think I'll call her Pat Call her Pat So I searched around the house for A load of useless tat useless I found a tat. paper plate to make her face And I gave her foil tins for eyes Tins for eyes Pat Sears came from the fridge And the hair was made of rice Pila Roy The secret to a smile was a length of knicker elastic Then I held the whole thing together With a ton of sticky bag plastic One day I realised That I'd left her in the rain Rain I taught her all arms and her pipeline her toes They'd all gone on the way Way So I chucked her in the bin <laughs> Pat. They don't tell you about that on Blue Peter, do they? Do they? No. No. No, they don't. Larry, take over for a sec, cocker. I need a moment. Oh, oh, oh. Still to come on today's hacker time. <laughs> Radzi's read the jokes we've written for the rest of the program. Something dreadful is gonna happen. Today's quarter past four o'clock club is out of this world. And Hacker puts Harry Tanju in his place. And stop building your park! All still to come on today's Hacker Time! Yes, I want to tell you a little bit more about the Hacker Time crew. First of all, they love me! Oh, I'm so glad I won't have to watch this rubbish much longer, Lolly. Uh, uh, what are you talking about? You're looking at the new producer of Blue Peter. You what? Finally, I'll get to work on a real show. And nothing, yes, nothing is going to stop me. Dad! Oh, mother, what are you doing here? I believe you have something to tell me. Uh, uh, no, no, I don't, no, nothing. He's got a new job on Blue Peter, Mother McGee. There's no way you could do this job. Mother! Is this the contract? But, Mother! <laughs> Let us never speak of this again. Goodbye! Oh, hey, well, at least I'm respected round here. <laughs> now, where do I leave the notes for the rest of the programme? See? <laughs> ah, that... Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got a little peckish. <laughs> oh, oh. And now, Hacker Time proudly presents a low budget Blue Peter ripoff! Uh. Hello! And <laughs> welcome to the new look Blue Peter. All of the funny, with none of the money! Logos dropped a bit. I'm Hacker T Dog, and these two are a pair of rank amateurs. Say hello, rank amateurs. Hello, hello rank, rank amateurs. amateurs. Lindsay, come with me. It's time to unveil the time capsule. Now, this time capsule was buried a whole 45 years ago. We're going to be taking a look inside at some really interesting objects to tell us how people lived back then. So, first up, we've got an MP3 player. Wow! To think of their tunes will be stored in one place. <laughs> how did they cope, the poor souls? Yeah, and uh, next up, we've 
got a One Direction album. I can't believe they only had One Direction back then. I mean, <laughs> we've got four directions now. How did people even walk anywhere? Who knows, Hacker. And last up, we've got a copy of today's newspaper. Oh. What? Hacker, what is going on? This was all meant to be buried 45 years ago. Oops! I must have buried it 45 minutes ago. I'm always getting years and minutes mixed up. <laughs> Still, it hasn't caused many problems thus far. Oh, that'll be my roast chicken cocker. I've had it in the oven for 45 minutes. Go and be a love and have a look for me. Maybe I've had it in for 45 years instead. Oh, that's terrible. It needs more pepper. Go and get us some, would you, cocker? So now I'm going to show you how to make this model of the Taj Mahal using just pencil sharpenings, but it is very, very delicate. La, 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 la. Hacker, what are you doing? I'm cleaning the studio, ain't I? He's a bit slow, isn't he, cocker? No, be careful. This took me 45 minutes to make. Wow. You've been working on this since 1969. Hacker. Just get out. Something dreadful is going to happen. Go. All right. Oh, Hacker, I've got that pepper you asked for. Oh, lovely. Give us a sniff, Cocker. Yeah. Here you go. Oh. Uh, 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 Achoo! <laughs> oh, you pair of absolute mooies. Look at the mess you've made. Right, that does it. You're off the show. Go on, on your Hacker. bikes. Look. Come on. You're no skeleton in Harwood, are you? Oh. Get out. Come on. I don't know. Yonko puts up with him. Pa! Yonko, who's that? Well, that's all we've got time for this week. But join me next week when I'll be damaging yet another beloved TV show format. <laughs> now, where did I leave that chicken? Oh, it's over there. Do you like exciting school drama mixed with spectacular musical numbers? Oh, well, never mind. <laughs> Here's a quarter past four o'clock club instead. OK, everybody ready for their annual school trip? Oh, where is it this time, sir? The box factory? The car park museum, <laughs> the local sewage works. Oh. What, 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 what? Times for high trips were notoriously boring. If I took you somewhere good, man, the numbers would be soaring. What about the seaside? Everybody bring your shade. I eat loads of ice cream, bring my bucket and spade. Maybe take a little trip to the wild, wild west, or go on a search for a pirate treasure chest. I'll get my rollerblades, I'll get my mountain bike. Actually, change my mind, we're going to the Cheese Museum today. Ah, uh, sir! Psych! Let's see a rock band, or go into space. Go swimming with sharks and come face to face with real life dangers, real life highs. It's getting exciting, and let me tell you why. Everybody says school trip. I'll take you anywhere you want. Everybody say school trip. I'll take you anywhere you like. Everybody say school trip. That's if there's any money. Everybody say school trip. Just check there's no money left in the budget. Ah. OK, we are here. But we haven't left the school. I know. It's a tour of Flemsbury High. Yay! <sighs> I've been there. Now on Hacker Time, it's the exciting, nail-biting, or inspiring part of the show where Hacker likes to say... Bradzi and Lindsay, get out! Yes, it's the next bit of the show, Cocker. You see, I've had enough of you, so I'm going to get rid. Well, that's nice, isn't it? Thanks. <laughs> yes, it is, yeah. You'll be fighting to get back up to the ground floor so you can return to your boring oh. lives. <laughs> get a question right and you'll go up a level. Get one wrong and you go back down a level. And when the time's up, you'll either leave or end up in one of my other weird and wonderful floors, like Gerard and Nigel's Nick Combs cellar. <laughs> Do you understand? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. Well, you've got until you hear this sound. Oh, is it home time yet? So in three, two, W, go! Question one. How many Blue Peter presenters have been called Peter? Two. 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 Correct. Yes. Purvis and Duncan. But no presenter has been Blue. Lindsay, spell Radzi's surname. C-H-I-N. Y-A-N... 
G A N Y A. Correct! Well yeah. done, <laughs> That's good, isn't Question it? Question three. Which TV show has my long running sidekick, Harry Tonju, appeared in this week? Is it Songs of Praise or Bargain Hunt? Bargain Hunt. Oh, let's find out if you're right or not. What? No, we're not going to rename the show Tongues of Praise, OK? I'm off to sing a hymn. Oh, I'm sorry, you're wrong, Cocker. Oh. It was Songs of Praise. Now clear off, Tonju, and stop building your part. <laughs> Question four. A football one for you, Radzi. Okay. Which of these things hasn't Mario Balotelli reportedly done? A, trained chickens to bring him food, or B, had an allergic reaction to a football pitch? I think... The first one. Chickens. Yeah, chickens. Correct! Yes, yeah. he hasn't trained chickens to bring him food, yeah. Question five. Which CBBC star have we McGeed in this picture? Ooh. That's Naomi. That is the legend that is Naomi Wilkinson. Yeah. Correct! Your co-star from Wild, Hi. Naomi, the crisp-haired Wilkinson. Question six. What do David Beckham J.K. Rowling and Her Majesty the Queen all have in common. Gold badge, gold badge. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. They all have a gold blue Peter badge. Lindsay Russell, yes. And they've all pulled out of Hacker Time 4. <laughs> <laughs> Question seven. Which of these isn't a real place name? Is okay. it A, Pratt's Bottom, B, Spotty Bottom, or C, Six Mile Bottom? Okay, Pratt's Bottom, I think, sounds real. It's got to be Spotty Bottom. Correct! The answer is <laughs> Spotty Bottom. Get out! Congratulations. You lit up all the buttons to the ground floor, so you are allowed to leave. We are out of here. It's been lovely having you here, Thanks but quite for frankly, thank you. a tire of your company, so get out. <laughs> Come on. Come on. Some things never change. Yes, Bye, they Hacker. don't change. I See you, cockers. No, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, any last words before you go? Yeah, we just want to say... <laughs> <laughs> what an excellent pair of guests. I wonder who they were. That's it for today, cockers. I'm off to scour some stubborn lamb grease off me griddle pan. All that's left for me to do now is sing my dreadful end song. Join in if you know it! That is it for now, the end of the show. I need the laugh, laugh, so I'm going to go. I'll see you next time on this show of mine. Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time. It's been amazing, we've been larking around. The whole program costs just under a pound. We'll watch again next time, cos we've got much more. There'll be tons of other funny stuff, it will be top draw. Radzi and Lindsay were my guests, it really was a lark. Until they messed up everything by clumsily ruining a model of a famous landmark. That is it for now, the end of the show. I need the laugh, laugh, so I'm going to go. I'll see you next time on this show of mine. Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time. Put it in your diary, it's called Hacker Time. That is the end of today's Hacker Time. Good, 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 goodbye.